हॅलो स्टुडंट्स वेलकम टू लोकसत्ता यशस्वी भव वी आर नाव गोईंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री अँड क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर विच आर लॉंग आन्सर क्वेश्चन ऑफ सेक्शन बी क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन राईट एनी थ्री प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ नॉन मेटल्स शिअर देर आर थ्री पॉइंट एक्सपेक्टेड ईच पॉइंट वेज वन मार्क थ्री प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ नॉन मेटल्स नॉन मेटल्स एक्झिस्ट इन सॉलिड और गेश स्टेट the next point non metals lack luster they are non ductile and non malleable and the last point non metals have low melting points and low boiling points students remember that you can write any other properties of non metals which are there in the textbook which are correct so each point carries one mark the next question define functional group and complete the following table here there are blanks shown in the table you can draw the table and write down the correct answer in the table or or you can also number and write down the correct blank or fill up the correct blank indicating the correct question number so first start with the definition of functional group remember that you have to write the definition exactly word to word from the textbook avoid writing in your own language an atom or group of atoms present in the molecule which determines the characteristic property of organic compounds is called as functional group this answer carries one mark now the fill in the blanks for the first one functional group you have to write it as oh group and the formula for ethyl alcohol is c2h5oh the next blank that is there is aldehyde group that is cho and the formula for acetaldehyde is ch3 cho the next question what is reflex action name the parts indicated in the diagram students here you have to observe the diagram carefully study it and then name the labeled parts so first we shall start with the definition of reflex action a sudden action in response to something that is happening in the environment is called as reflex action this carries one mark and the parts indicated are the first part is sensory neuron the second one is spinal cord the third one is motor neuron and the last part is effector muscles in arm so each and every point over here carries half mark that is two marks for the labels and one mark exactly for the reflex action students we move on to the next question question number 4 how is sex determined in man here you have to show the diagrammatic representation which will carry one mark and the explanation of the representation will carry two marks so first and foremost begin with the explanation there are 46 chromosomes present in man out of which two are sex chromosomes next point females have xx chromosomes and the males have xy set of chromosomes if the x bearing sperm fuses with the egg it results into formation of a female child whereas if the y bearing sperm fuses with the egg it results into formation of a male child thus the sex of the offspring completely depends on the father you can also show the formation of chromosomes that is 44 plus xx will result into formation of a female child whereas 44 plus y xy will result into the formation of a male child students the diagrammatic representation is shown in the article so please open your textbooks and also refer to the article that shows the diagrammatic representation of sex determination in man we move on to the last question of question number 3 which is again for 3 marks write a short note on darwin's theory of natural selection here students remember that you have to answer in points you can either write 5 to 6 points each will carry half mark the main scientific words have to be highlighted and underlined darwin's theory of evolution is called as the theory of natural selection the second point is that darwin suggested that only the fittest of the fit organisms can survive and those plants and animals are which are not fit will die the next point the fittest species will pass on the characteristic to the 
next generation on reproduction. The next point, it also emphasizes on overproduction which causes struggle for existence. And the last point, the process of natural selection is not deliberate but it is a gradual and a natural process. So each point here carries half mark. Please underline the words like survival of the fittest, struggle for existence, the natural selection is not deliberate but natural. So these terms have to be highlighted and underlined. The last question of section B that is question number 4 which weighs 5 marks. Here you have to attempt any one question out of two. Answer the following with reference to the excretory system. The first question of that, state any two organs of the system. Name any two organs located at the either side of the vertebral column. What is the basic filtration unit in the excretory system? What are the functions of Bowman's capsule? What will happen if there is a fault in the function of the Bowman's capsule. We begin with the answers now. The first answer is the two organs of the excretory system are a pair of kidneys and a pair of ureters. You could also write about urinary bladder and urethra. The next question that is the organs located at the either side of the vertebral column are again kidneys. Do not forget to write answer in complete statement. What is the basic filtration unit in the excretory system? The basic filtration unit in the excretory system is nephron. And the next question that is functions of the Bowman's capsule. Function of the Bowman's capsule is ultra filtration that is allowing water molecules and smaller molecules of other substances to pass through it which will form the glomerular filtrate. What will happen if there is a fault in the Bowman's capsule? The answer for this is the nitrogenous wastes and the toxins will get accumulated leading to kidney damage or kidney failure. The next question, draw a neat labeled diagram of LS of a flower, write the description of the parts of sexual reproduction. Here students remember that drawing of a diagram carries two marks, again there is a bifurcation over here, scientifically correct diagram will carry one mark and the labels that are written will carry one mark. So the diagram drawing will be asked for two marks and the explanation of all the parts of the flower that is the reproductive parts of the flower will carry three marks. That study the diagram that will be shown in the article related to the session. So we proceed with the description of the reproductive parts of the flower beginning with the male reproductive part that is androsium. Androsium is the male reproductive part of the flower which is made up of stamens. Each stamen is made up of filament and anther. The next point, anther contains pollen grains which produce the male gametes. And now the female reproductive part of the flower is called as the gynaecium which is made up of carpel which consists of stigma, style and ovary. Stigma is the sticky part which will help the pollen grains to stick on its surface. The style is a long tube which will carry the pollen grains or the male gametes to the ovary and ovary is the basal part of the style. Ovary contains ovules which will help in the process of reproduction. So the reproductive process that is the fusion of the male and the female gamete take place in the ovary. Students, now we have finished the discussion of question 3 and question 4 of section B and also have finished the discussion of the entire question paper of science and technology of section A and section B. Students, we have discussed the entire curriculum for science and technology. We have also discussed the hot questions related to the science curriculum and studied and discussed the pattern of the question paper and also have discussed the solution of the board paper that is all the model answers of the board paper in detail. I am sure these discussions will definitely help you in solving the question paper successfully. Students, I, Ruta Chitnis and the entire team of Luxatta Yashashvi Bhava give you best wishes 
for a very very bright future and a successful future